Early this week following the FBI raid, nobody could have predicted what it was that they were looking for. We all wanted to know, but nobody could have predicted surely. But someone on CNN actually kind of did. Take a look. Doing such a raid to this magnitude, a search to this extreme, anything short of finding the nuclear codes at Mar-a-Lago is going to hugely backfire on the Biden administration. Now, of course, it was in the context of like, oh, almost certainly Biden is screwed. I mean, an investigation by the FBI of Trump, obviously that's bad news for the Democrats. It's like the New York Times pitch bot on Twitter. But she did <laughs> kind of land on it being potentially about the nuclear codes or something related. But obviously, keep this in mind, this is the important part. She's a Republican analyst, which CNN loves. They love those Republican mm-hmm. analysts because, hey, if you're gonna do half truth, you have to do half lies to be an objective reporter, okay, but yeah, they actually believe that. So they bring on the Republican before anyone had any idea that it had anything to do with nuclear information. And she's like, I mean, come on. I mean, it didn't have to be nuclear codes. Mm-hmm. So bring her back on, by the way, CNN, and ask her. It looks like it might be the nuclear codes, at least some nuclear information. You said under that circumstance, well, obviously, that would be massively criminal, right? Because she's gonna have new BS excuse for it, they always do. And the thing they underestimate about Donald Trump, both things we talk about all the time, how crooked he is and how stupid he is. So she thought in her mind, well, I mean, obviously he didn't take home the nuclear codes, oops. Right, but I, I think also we don't know if they're the codes, right? So yeah. what if it's just nuclear information about the location of weapons in other countries? Um, what if it's information, uh, you know, who, who knows? Allies, not allies, doesn't matter. It's still super dangerous if you're gonna sell that kind of information. But of course, to an analyst like that and to Republicans, will be like, oh, that's not important, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, it's not the actual code. Okay, well, it, it's like a crossword puzzle where you have to get, you get the code once mm. you complete the puzzle. It's sort of a find me. Anyway, they're gonna find some reason. What I keep uh, getting astounded by is how dangerous the punditry has been, how openly Republicans are baiting their own base into the kinds of actions that we saw just the other day from the dude who stormed the Capitol before he then went on a rampage to try and shoot a nail gun at an FBI. I mean, I don't know. These guys are unhinged and even on CNN, sort of the respectable Republicans, we're still seeing them be like, well, unless it's the nuclear codes, then yep. I guess it's gonna be civil war. Like, like, what are you doing? You know these people actually want that kind of violence and you're just sort of stirring it up. Well, it's gonna backfire, you know? Well, are you safe? I guess you're safe in your sort of ivory yeah. tower and no no one's coming for you. You yeah. Yeah, I just I want you to imagine one quick thing. Imagine Obama is charged potentially charged with the espionage act cuz mm-hmm. he might have been trying to sell the nuclear codes or nuclear information <laughs> about us or some other country. And all the Republicans come out and go, "What are you guys doing? This is only going to help the Democrats." Yes. <laughs> like no yes. one, Republicans wouldn't say it, the media wouldn't say it, no one on planet Earth would say it because it's nuts. Yeah. But yet it's not just Republicans, there's tons of news anchors going, well, uh, Donald Trump's house has been raided by the FBI and he might have violated the espionage act and he might be selling trying our most top secret information to our enemies for money. It might really help them. <laughs> How's yeah. this gonna play? <laughs> and at, at the very least, just get ready for it. There is nothing that's gonna come out, no matter how serious, no matter how you know, indis- like indisputably bad, that they're going to accept this significant. Sean Hannity earlier today on his radio show was already saying he doesn't care about the documents. He doesn't care if it's nuclear. He's not interested. And in terms of the violence, Greg Gutfeld yesterday, following the attack on the FBI headquarters, said uh, everyone needs to stop freaking out on the, about the death threats. It's just like heckling at a sports event. That's after the attack on the FBI. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.